как ляжет. Your little knock. You're sailing tonight. Do we have a crew? This is an unusual way for a bride to arrive at a wedding. Daddy saving money? There isn't going to be a wedding, Humphrey. Still haven't got over this sort of thing. you weren't doing this. I am not marrying some idiot my father has chosen for me just because his family is rich. He's selling me his own. He'll come after you, Maude, and the last place he'll think of looking is on one of his damn ships. Sign up for the ghost, Your Honor. Oh, uh, yeah. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Let's rock. I'm Louis O'Leary. <laughs> but why not? Why not join up with the ghost? It's a good call. You're the ghost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuse us. Why the sea, Charlie? Did I say the sea? Didn't I say get out of town? Because the sea is beautiful, Humphrey. The sea is wet and it's slimy and it goes on for far too long. Oh, like you. What? What in God's name is she doing here? Doesn't her father own the Macedonia? All the more reason for her to stay away from it. Isn't she beautiful? All I did was criticize one lousy poem. One lousy poem. You said the whole book needed work. You and Maude Bruce, what a disaster. Come on, I'll buy you a ticket. Are you sailing to Yokohama tonight?
Who told you about the Macedonia? Does it matter? Last minute decision. I'm like that. It draws it to Yokohama. My writing. Well, if you pay me, Miss Clark. Maud Clark. Miss Clark, this is a working ship. Yokohama's only a refueling stop. Real business is to go up north, kill a lot of seals. Nothing gets in the way of that. All I ask is passage out of here. Good side. Why is that? There. That's much better, don't you think? Hmm? You got a good few months of my expense, haven't you? Hmm? Your boss giving you a hard time? Well, you're taking all those damn seals, aren't you? Why are you so afraid of prison? I'm not afraid of anyone. You should know that by now. Sailing tonight? <laughs> There'll be nothing left for you when we're done. Nothing. I'm not sailing on that boat. It's not a boat, Humphrey. How about a schooner? A schooner? Charlie is something out of which one drinks sherry. Aren't sailing ships beautiful? You think so, Miss Clark? It's my brother's ship. The Macedonia can outrun her and outlast her. Where's your brother headed, Captain Larson? Same place as us. We'll get there first. Brewster. Our critic should never fall in love, Charlie. It might affect his objectivity. Mm. 
I never knew you were that serious about her. Poets and women are always talking about love. Why? They're naturally passionate? No. It's simply another way of getting attention. You know, you come on like an intellectual tough Humphrey. When really, you're, what? Soft-centered. I'm really not. Well, you felt something from Aunt Brewster. You know you did. I need some air. You're on the ghost, sir. A uh, sealing schooner bound for the Japanese coast. Oh, fetch me a glass of water. Here we go. Oh, no. Nice to have a gentleman on board, sir. Oh, God. I see the captain. This man, Johnson. My name is Johnson. Sir. I didn't call you over here to correct my pronunciation. I called you up here to throw water on this drunken bastard. Supposed to be the mate of this ship. Why doesn't he come around? I think he's dead, sir. Dead? Dead. Give you permission to die, you stupid bastard. Dead. Damn your bloody insolence! If I'd wanted a corpse, I would have asked for one. I paid you twenty dollars advance. Are you a preacher? No, no, I'm not. Saw him into a bag and tip him overboard. What do you do? I'm a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I work. I, I, I do work. I shouldn't think you've ever done a day's work in your life. Johansson. Congratulations. You are our new mate. Aye, sir. Which means we are short a sailor. You. Go forward as a boat puller. No. Well, 
What did you just say? No, I won't go for it. I won't be a boat puller. I never signed up for boat puller. I signed up for cabin boy. Did you? Has that altered your attitude to promotion? Now, get forward. Private income, was it? I have an income. From your father, was it? Dead men's legs. I use these hands, Captain. I'm a writer. I write criticism, if you must know. Not that I see the. You that work for a living here. You start now. Cabin boy. <laughs> Get into the galley with cooking. My name is Humphrey Van Feiden. I wish to be put ashore. How much? I don't think Daddy's money will buy you out of this, I'm afraid. Now, get below. Um. You can't do this, Captain. Who is that I can't? I don't seem to have any choice, do I? Sir. Sir. Get below. Come on, Hump. Miss Clark. Real beauty for you. Beauty is efficiency, don't you think? And sailing ships aren't efficient? They're purely decorative, Miss Clark. Just like my brother. Then why do they call you death? American sailors call me Todd Larson. In German, that means death, sir. My crew calls me Death Larson. Just so long as you don't try to live up to your name, Captain. No, I'm a very gentle character, Miss Clark. Wouldn't hurt a mouse. Poor lady. You know, there's a poem, Death and the Maiden. Death meets the maiden on the road, and he's very nice to her. Yeah, but she dies just the same, eh? Very good, Captain. business. Sea legs. Here, take these off. Now. Come on. Watch that. She's starting to roll a bit. Come on, leave them alone. <laughs>
Captain wanted to know if you wanted dinner, miss. Captain's table, miss. I'd be delighted. My mate gives orders on this vessel, not you. Up you go. Up you go. Come on, boy. Yeah, you can do it. It's not so bad. It's not that far down. He's too green. Can somebody speak? Of course. You're not here to keep her steady for sailors who cannot do the job. Sir. <laughs> That's my boat pull you got up there. Maybe you're a boat puller, but he's my sailor. He's not right. He's just a boy. You want to argue about it, Johnson? His own life is so precious. Rubies. To us, it's nothing. It's not important. It is to me. Ah, Yonson. Unfortunately, you are not important, are you? And here we are in our little floating society. And I command. And you obey. It's absurd, really. It's all you know how to do. Quit your whining, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Seven hours he's been up there. There was once a great ruler who hired a poet to praise him. If you do not make me sound truly wonderful, he said to this man, I will have you killed. The man used wonderful, wonderful words to describe his master. So the master said, beautiful. What is it makes you say such beautiful things? Fear, said the man.
He moves. Fear has given him courage. You come down a different man. So he's searching for something. It's clock. Or running away from something, perhaps. A little of both. You're romantic, Miss Clark. I can't afford romance. Money's all that interests me. I want to hear all about your business, Captain Larson. About the seals and how you catch them. Doing. Yeah. Take these ashes out. Have you been in my jacket? All my money's gone. You, you've stolen money from How my jacket. Dare you. Oh, God. you do as I tell you, or I'll give you another. Enough of this. Your hand, Tom. Ashes from the stove. Sir. Sir. I suppose Cookie wanted you to chuck them overboard, did the he? Cook. That's what I wanted to do. So tell I you. suppose you'd better chuck them, huh? Not into the wind, you more. Ah! It's not fair! It's not fair. I've been taken against my will. I've been made to work on this hellish bloody craft. Have you indeed? Any other questions? Cook stole my money. Your lawyer on it. See my dick. Bering Sea is closed to all sealers. Miss Clark. The Russians shoot us if we get in their territorial waters. We can only take the seal in the open sea here on these northern Japanese islands as they head up towards Siberia. In the race, Miss Clark, to get to the herd before my brother. If I lose, it's all over for me. Why? I work for a real bastard. Miss Clark. He owns me, that's all. And your brother? He works for himself. He's a free spirit. Wouldn't that be nice, Miss Clark, to be a free spirit? I think of myself as a free spirit. I do. Mm -hmm. Is he older or younger than you, your brother? What do you think? Older. What makes you say that? You sound as though he's in your way. Only for God. <laughs> <laughs> How much did cookies steal from you, huh? 
$185. Oh. <laughs> Sir. Sir. You put his soul in danger. You shouldn't leave something like that lying around. It's not. What? Fair. It's not fair. Tough enough. Of course not. But is it fair for you to live off the proceeds of money you've never earned? Is life fair? Life's a mess. Like yeast, firmed. Thing that moves and in the end ceases to move. I don't simply live off others. I work, I do work. I, I, I write. <laughs> well, what do you write, Hump? I, I think I told you. Criticism. <laughs> Doesn't sound like work to me. Do you believe in the soul, Hump? to look in someone's eyes to know there's a soul. <laughs> the eyes of the soul's window on the world. Did you clean my cabin? Hump? No. No. You're talking about literature, so you do not have to call me sir. Is that the idea? Clean my cabin now! Navigation system. He's been working on it for years. Hey, hey, come in. You weren't meant to. Listen, don't rock the boat. Leave it alone. I wouldn't touch that desk if I were you. There's a wee drawer in it. And if you even look at it, he'll know. God knows what he keeps in it. He's a terrible man, don't you think? He reads. He's not a pig. He's a pig that reads. Listen, that no meets us, a thug. He's killed Johnson, or Johnson will kill him. And I heard Wolves killed a man two trips ago. All we need to do is get there, get the seals, and get the hell out, all right? These drips and drabs of money you keep bringing in. I'll raise your cookie. How much have you got? I got money. I got, I got more money. I was born a gentleman's son. Mr. Margaret.
blazing tropic night and the wakes of out of light. You read Kipling, Milton, Browning, Plato, Shakespeare. Good. I'm playing your new master at cards. Come on down. You can serve the drinks. I hope you haven't cheated, Mr. Muckridge. No, sir. No. Of course not. You're a gentleman, aren't you? Put the gentleman a drink, Hump. A hundred and eighty-five dollars. See you. No, that, that's not right. Listen, uh, that's impossible. I saw. Look! Take him up on deck, Hump. No, 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 that's not right. I, listen, I, I, I... And tell Leeds to give him a soaking. That, that's my life savings there. I, I, I'm a, a gentleman's son. Uh... Captain said to give him a soaking. Oh, my pleasure. A cookie? This is for your mashed potatoes. That's mine. You're improving, huh? That's exactly the amount he stole from me. The amount may be the same, but now it's mine. Those are the basics. What is a kingdom but a great piece of highway robbery? You don't believe in justice. Uh, what is justice? A word people use to get what they want. It's an idea. Precisely. Look at you, Hump. Living proof of the futility of all ideas. Take you out of your vivarium, and what are your ideas? Nothing. You're fascinated by ideas. Am I? Look at your bookshelf. But we were talking about justice, were we not? And this for your crawling, bullying ways. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, huh? The people do not want justice. They want, as I've told you, to obey orders. Stand up, sit down. Why? Who cares? So what is there? What is there to believe in? There's life, Hump. The moon out there on the water. There's a beauty in that, I suppose. No morality? Just animals snarling at other animals? Oh, I kill you! I'll get you for this. No, you won't. Society is about survival. About cutting up the person next to you so that you can live. Civilized society, whether it be a, a city or, or, or a nation or a ship's crew, will always function more efficiently if everyone feels the mutual gain. But for that to happen, peace and justice must exist. Come on up, you miserable git, in the galley. Sharpish! I'm talking to this gentleman. He stays here with me. You cook on your own for a while. Get out of here! Yes, sir, if you, if you say so, sir. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? I took his punching bag away from him. <laughs> what are you looking for? You think there's some secret in there? Some faded picture of a girl who disappointed me? Some cliché that will explain me to you? I'm not to be explained, Tom. What was your father like? Uh, he was a brutal bastard. So, of course, we wanted to follow in his footsteps. 
And your brother? Everyone loves Wolf. Or rather, they used to. Do you find that's how it is with people, Miss Clark? Don't you know what they're like? You want to kill the bastards? Why do you hate your brother? I think I can explain why you are what you are. How do you propose to do that? You're the product of certain things. We all are. The, the society you come from, your background, your family. Your family. Some, something made you what you are. You're starting to bore me, Hump. I think I'll send you back into the galley where you and your fine ideas belong. Come on! Not to be explained, Hump. Any more than life itself is to be explained. Here's your lanky cookie. And it's all yours. Get peeling spuds. When I'm ready. <laughs> Strong, isn't he? They say that he can crush a raw potato in his hand. Just like that. Only I take it the potato isn't meant to stay intact. Is that the idea? Oh, God. Hi. What are you doing? I think I'm... Um, Sharpening my knife, hump. Is that what you're doing, Lovage? Well, wow. here's my knife. It's sharp enough already. Knife fight! Here we go. Hey, wake up. Knife fight. 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 That's my boy. Nice and brutish. Why can't we just shake hands and be friends, huh? Please. I don't shake hands with stuff. Oh! Three cheers for the literary critic! <laughs> Welcome to the Yoon Zoo. Hump. You're all shit. Oh, poor Cookie lost his bottle. <laughs> Is everything all right, Captain? No, Miss Clark, it's not. What's happening? We're about to lose the damned engines. I should ask you to get below, Miss Clark. Can you fix it? Get off my bridge, Miss Clark. Stay in your cabin. You've no idea what's at stake here. Well, 
have these days. I do, sir. That's Cookie Dremble. Hmm? Are you all right, sir? Of course I'm all right. You haven't given up, have you? Given up what, sir? Trying to understand me. I was brought up trying to understand. Ah, and I was not! And to answer your unspoken question, I was raised in the far north, among the peasants of the sea. And there was no justice. We had to fight from the cradle. So there were other children? Of course there were other children. Aren't we curious? Do you want to know how everything ticks? Do you think you can fix it if you understand it? Is that it, Hump? Are you an engineer of souls and societies? Tell me. There's nothing to tell. Not about me and my brother. You think there's always something to tell? Sometimes there's nothing to tell. Your brother. Why did Cain hate Abel? There's no sense in any of it. Where is he? Where is that bastard? It was your job to keep the engines running! We're not safe here, miss. Really. Not safe. The Tatsun Day. You do these ropes, Johnson? I told you, sir, my name's Johnson. I'm an Shut American. Up. You think there's something wrong with these ropes? They're not new, sir. It's dangerous. Well, you and I are going below to discuss your grievances about the quality of ropes on this ship. Just do your job. Yes, sir. I'd rather not. And why not? Because I know what you and the mate will do to me, sir. Would you be kind enough to join us, Hump? I don't think I want to, sir. Who will stand up for justice and reason and the soul? If you do not come, who will stand up for these all important things? Now, the 
Miss Rope, Johnson. What do you say, Mr. Johansson? It's good rope, sir. They're not new, sir. You stand by that, do you, Johnson? That it's the unalterable truth as far as you're concerned, is it? Yes, sir. Observe, Hunt. Great moment. Nobility in the balance. Here he is. Will you stand up for our truth and justice and decency? If you want to know what I think. Oh, we do. At least I do. I think he's a brave man and noble. If you want to know. And are you noble, Hump? to stand up for the Two cheers for democracy, hump. This is how we stand up for freedom and decency and all of those important things, isn't it? I told you to open the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, give me a hand. Give me a hand. That's right. Come oh my on. God. That's right. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Harrison! <coughs> Get some cold water! <coughs> Come on! <coughs> 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 Okay, let him down. Let him down. Let him down. Let him down. <coughs> Get a cloth! Get a cloth! Come on! Keep your eyes open. Look at me. You bastard! Oh, oh, you cruel! Arrogant! Self-satisfied! Odious bastard! Come on over because I will not stop! I won't stop! You have to kill me! You shut me up! You bastards! You bastards! Such language! No! 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 Quite enjoyed that, didn't you, huh? Cookie getting his? Oh, by the way, you're promoted. Gentlemen, our new chef de cuisine. Expert on love, then? 
but I know what I like the look of. And I usually get her. Everything as it should be here. Mr. Johansson? Have you seen the mate? No, sir. Hump, come with me. Fight back, he'll crush us. Now is our chance. All of us. <laughs> Haven't you got any gas? Why do we just slide back and take it? <laughs> the old man wants you. He is not here. I'm afraid he is. I'll shut his mouth before he squeals. Wait. I'm all right. He's got more guts than you. Let's take the bastard now. Leech! You need this fight, but we don't. He's ready. He's armed. He'll be waiting for us. What then? What do we do? We do what, we do what people in our situation always do. We wait for the right moment. Which is never! Listen. The old man might be a bastard, but he makes us good money. I just want to finish this bloody trip. It'll be me and Johnson who'll get the punishment. Come on, Hump.
You seem to be short of a mate. The job is yours. $75 a month. I know absolutely nothing about sailing. Is that a problem? Absolutely not. And you will be called Mr. Van Wyden. No, they don't respect me. I... The crew, they'll, they'll beat me. I can't do it. Of course you can. Trust me. I trust you. I won't do it. I think you will find you will. Well done. Good night, Mr. Van Wyden. Good night, Mr. Larson. We'll take in water here, Mr. Van Wyden. Aye, sir. I leave this ship into your capable hands, Mr. Van Wyden. Get the foresails down! Helm two spokes to port. Aye, sir. a little fast, don't you think, Mr. Van Wyden? Get him on the fore halyards. Slow the gaff, if you please. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get someone on the chain. Well done, Hump. <laughs> if you please. <laughs> Stand by to lower the boats. <laughs> Gentlemen. Something funny, Mr. Hennison? Yes, sir. <laughs> off my deck. Thank you, Mr. Van Wyden. That will do very nicely. to see me. Recognize this? Can't say that I do, sir. If you intend to kill someone, Leach, you should do it. You shouldn't have to do it. It's not that important, darling, is it? Oh, this evidence finished. Leech. Sir? Come all the way for it. 
hospitals do for ladies best, huh? There's a lot of money to be made out there. Tell the crew to get ready to lower the boats. I want it done quickly. There's a storm coming. Yes, sir! Stand by to lower the boats! It looks like we've beat my brother. Yes? Miss Clark, I've come to inform you. We won't be putting it at Yokohama. Well, when will we get there? Can't say. Might lose fuel on the way back. A few months. A few months? What am I supposed to do? Swim there? Well, it's up to you. I am paying you to do a job, Captain. I trusted your word. Miss Clark, as far as I'm concerned, you've told me nothing of your true intentions in Yokohama. I feel no obligation to keep any such word. Fine, Captain. I'll tell you who I am. I am the daughter of the man who owns this ship, and I insist that you take me to Japan. It's very interesting. Bye, Miss Brewster. We are in business! Come on, get those boats down! Let's do it! That's it, let's get us a good on that door, huh? Oh, an extra line there, Hey, extra line there. Take it, Leach. Do I have a choice? Ask Mr. Henderson. Stand by those lines. Lower away. Go on. Henderson, keep your head down. Let her go. Good luck, Leach. Off a little on that sheet. Come on. Stop pulling her in. Now, Mr. Mugridge. All right, get up! Be nice with those belts, boys. Treat those belts gingerly, boys.
getting sentimental about our animal cousins, Mr. Van Ryan. Even people who eat animals are squeamish about killing them themselves. They should all be taken on a tour of their local abattoirs. Animals have a certain dignity. The only thing I really like about them is that they never use words like dignity. All right, Harrison, get them pelts back. Get them out of the boat. Manuel, get us back out there. Let it go. Let's go! Did he tell you who I am? He didn't tell me anything, miss. He never tells anyone anything. And trust me, I don't want to know. He's evil. Pure evil. What did he say? He told me to kill you and drop you overboard when it's dark. It'll be dark soon. They have to get their animals, sir. There's no hunting at night, Cookie. I want them back before the weather hits. What are you gonna do? I can feel it brewing. What if it hits while they're all out, gentlemen? What then? We are lost. There are only three men to handle this ship. You, me, Margaret. What do you say, Mr. Van Wyden? I'm sure we'll manage, sir. When you came aboard this ship, you were a pathetic character. Now look at you, Mr. Van Wyden. You see? She's starting. Just a little flap of wind. Where's the justice in that, I wonder? Being this is only three of us, sir, I don't think that we can. Mr. Van Wyden, stand by to drive the hassles when the wind hits. Then set the topsails. You won't have long. Aye, right, sir. Don't panic, Cookie. I'll take care of you. It's whiskey, gentlemen. Are you gonna kill me, Johnny? No, miss. I'm not. But I gotta get you off this ship for morning. There's a spare boat on the stern deck. I'll put you in that. That's the best I can do. It might make Yokohama. In this weather. Oh! Ah! 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 
I swear to you, Miss, if he finds you on this ship alive, he will kill you. And me too. But this is your only chance. I swear it. Can't you see this, boys? Can't you see us? Margaret, give me a hand! We don't have love! Get the road! There she is, boys! She's coming around! Close that hatch! What happened? Uh, 
Congratulations, Mr. Uh, How many men have we lost? Two hundred. Standish and Latimer, I think. And Henderson. But he doesn't really count, does he? What did you do to him? He fell overboard in a storm, sir. Wasn't it good when the sea was running? I wonder how Cookie survived. Most of his ribs are broken. Better put a bandage on him. Tell him it's character building. Sir. Are they up to anything? Is he up to anything? Yes, mate, I'm sure you keep me informed. Mr. Biden. Naturally, sir. Pass it around. Thanks for your call. Just go. He'll kill you otherwise. See quite some time, eh? Well, Grant's my brother hunting first. <laughs> Where? Northwest of Yokohama. I can show you on the chart. Set course, Monavesta Yokohama Nu. <laughs> Somebody's been riding out bearings for Yokohama. Would you agree with me, Mr. Van Wyden? Yes, sir, I would. When I find the bastard who gave this to them, I'll rip him into little pieces. Got me! Is it you, Mr. Van Wyden? No, sir, it wasn't. Well, they are between here and Yokohama. We are going to comb every yard of sea. We are going to tack up and down till we find them. Got me. You hear me? Never make any money that way, Captain. What did you say? <laughs> They're about, Mr. Van White. They're about! This is us. Where's Wolf? He'd be up there, up towards the Bering Sea. Captain, do so! Come on! 
We've got the bastards, gentlemen. Hunters on deck! We have them in our sights! Let them know we're in business. What the hell are you doing? I've had enough. I've had enough. It's like he says, am I a coward? Listen! You have something. None of us lot have, Mr. Van Weyden. You're smart. You're as smart as he is. We rely on you getting us off this hell ship and back home again, one way or another. I want to see my home again. Jesus Christ, I do. I'm sorry, Louis. What is that gun for, Mr. Dunway? Have you decided to stand up for your principles at last? I'm warning you, Captain Larson. I will do this. You're too weak. Good job to the good men, sir! I'll do it, you hear me? I will! Give them a shot, Horner. <laughs> 